What is going on guys? We are back for another DSP video. My god, his addictions are getting out of control. Last few days, he's been wailed out on the non-RPG games. His birthday event's coming up, which he expects money and support. And it's WrestleMania weekend. So you know what that means in Phil's mind. It's WWE Champions time! And WWE Champions post this out. It's WrestleMania and clobbering time. The best in the world makes his highly anticipated debut in the WWE Champion. Unlock him with shards throughout the contest and help yourself to the generously stacked prize walls. Then we see a picture of CM Punk who is Phil's idol. His inspiration to what he wants to be. Of course Hogan is his lustful inspiration. And then TJ Gamebox put this out. It's like poetry. It rhymes. First it was Hogan around his birthday, now it's his idol. Remember too, as of late, he's been saying the Argentina membership bombs have ruined the channel. It almost killed his channel, his income's way down, he's not making as much, he's struggling. He almost went out of business, dude. Then he said, the RPG games are killing the business. My income's way down, people are leaving because I'm playing RPGs. My income took a major hit. And then we see this, $1,100 spent on WWE Champions. I even double checked by spending and getting a cool RKO and yeah. Yeah, this is getting dangerous, Phil. You're using all your tip money as our friend in and out of place points out in the past. Whatever he makes in a week is usually what equals to what is spent on WWE Champions. Now, if you're relying on just Super Chats, memberships, ad revenue, and Patreon to pay all your bills, and you're cutting this close. That's a dangerous thing, especially in the future. Your income for the last three years has declined year over year. Your supporters are leaving. Your whales are leaving. Your dolphins are leaving. Everyone's leaving. And you think, oh, it'll be fine. As long as I don't play RPG games. Phil, putting all your money in one basket and thinking, this will last me the rest of my life. It's not a very good business strategy. But then again, this is also the same guy that had the 10 year plan. And DSP was not done there. He decided to spend more in the anticipation of his birthday event where he thinks he's going to get wailed out. He's going to get huge tip amounts and whatnot. So he decided to pre-spend. He spent $1,610 on WWE Champions trying to get that CM Punk sweaty JPEG. And we see down from the Raptors in 40th place. And we got Miracat, WrestleMania week baby. Mario Faker, thanks Jax, because last night was Street Fighter 6. Then we got Anthony with Tyrone Biggins from Chappelle Show. We got Dragon here, how is this real man? Sometimes I really cannot believe that this guy sings this amount of money on a game. It does not feel real given how he cries poor every day. Imagine wasting someone's paycheck amount on a few days. It's baffling how we cannot see this is wrong. And I believe it was Duty. He was tracking how much he's been spending this year on WWE Champions, and he spent about $12,000 to $13,000 on WWE Champions. So if it keeps at the current pace, he's on pace for about $48,000 to $50,000 spent on WWE Champions this year. Now keep in mind, that's only if he stays on pace. If he increases it, that's even more. He could be up to like $60,000, $70,000 this year spent on WWE Champions. We got Solid Snake. I guess despite the trolling he made bank going back to Street Fighter 6. We got Vernon. Matches exactly the amount of tips he's made recently. Then we got Dark Seed of Flow. Jax Raxler is on the hook for this. Yeah, and that's the other thing too is he has all these people around him that are enablers. People that go, oh, it's no big deal. It's his money. He can do whatever he wants with it. Not realizing that it's going to get worse and worse. Because once you have a certain threshold for a certain high from something, you have to constantly get higher and higher, and you have to chase that high. So you're constantly increasing on your addiction. So he's going to spend more and more and more trying to fill that void in his life, trying to get that high again from mobile gaming. The fact that he had so much money wasted already this year so far is absolutely mind-blowing. He could have taken his wife out on honeymoon. Hell, take her out for Valentine's Day. Take her out for anniversary. He could have saved up for retirement. He could have upgraded his setup. He could have done a lot of things with the money that he's made in his lifetime as 
a YouTube curator. But of course, Hogan dick pics are more important to him. And we have Big Mara. Jesus Christ, Phil. The Dark Angel Storm. Birthday Piggy making his polls. DSP, you fucking con artist. And we have Radical Jaws. Down from the sweaty JPEGs. So I believe this is still ongoing. So if there's any update totals, if he spends more, whatnot, I will let you guys know. So don't forget to click that like, share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, subscribe to my other channels on the details of the end cards. And as always, I love each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy. Peace and love.